This evening on House and Home, Dr. Ambi talks more on mental health. BSB presents their March update. We add curry to the mix on cooking with Vesta, Vesta tuna curry, and it's more great quality advice to share on Rude Brian Bell. A very good evening to you all and welcome to House and Home. Thanks for joining us. Well, we're not going to waste any time. We'll get straight into it and head on over to the House and Home kitchen to join Vesta mum Miriam cooking up a great curry dish. Vesta tuna curry. Enjoy. It's the tastiest tuna in a can. It's the new best of tuna chunks in 185 grams. Packed with 100% premium white meat goodness. The finest export quality tuna is now available nationwide in oil and brine. Best of tuna chunks and bestia. Proudly PNG made. Hi everyone. Welcome back to another Cooking with Besta program. For tonight's recipe, I will show you how to prepare Besta tuna curry. In front of me we have 16 ounce package frozen stir-fry vegetables, two tablespoon oil, one tablespoon curry, white pepper to taste, two tablespoon lime juice, a quarter cup cashews, one cup of coconut milk, and our main ingredient, Vesta tuna chunks in brine in 185 grams. Firstly, we lit up our stove, Bring our pan on this side. Add in our oil. Make sure the oil is evenly spread on all sides. Let's add in our stir-fried vegetables. We leave it to cook for about five minutes. Once again, I am preparing Besta tuna curry. Besta tuna chunks in brine is pure white meat and it comes in 185 grams. Okay, let's add in our curry. White pepper. Stir that all up again. Pour in our cup of coconut milk, lime juice, let it to cook through, we add in our pasta tuna chunks in brine, mix that all up. Leave it to boil for a few minutes and it's ready to be served. Viewers, our best tuna curry is now ready to be served. I have my plate of rice here. So I'll just serve this best tuna curry onto the plate. You can have this during dinner time. Viewers, now we'll top it up with our cashews. For the dressing. And here you have it, Vesta Tuna Curry. Thank you for watching and hope you join me again same time next week on House and Home Cooking with Vesta. It's better, it's Vesta, pride of PNG. It's the tastiest tuna in a can. It's the new Vesta tuna chunks in 185 grams. Packed with 100% premium white meat goodness. The finest export quality tuna is now available nationwide in oil and brine. Vesta tuna chunks and Vestia, proudly PNG made. A wonderful recipe to cook up, especially on those cooler nights. Nothing like adding curry to your dish for a little heated spice in the belly. Join our Vesta mum Miriam for another Cooking with Vesta segment. Coming up after the break, we join Dr. Ambi for more on mental health. Mm -hmm. 
Hi viewers and mental health segment. One more time, me like welcoming me bla all gata lo harim lik lik top lo yumina. Sing out him big man come up lo life lo yumina. Change him life lo yumi too. This la evening, my our topic is growing up should be fun. Me talk o sem why na me come up lo this la topic. O sem plenty all parents like papa na mama. All, or even relatives, or even the children, they think there are so many things are happening in our life, and there are environments are changing, the modernizations are coming, and we me plus savvy awesome. There's a constant social change is happening in our life, and life is very very important. It's only once. So same plenty time me plug got issues, na worry, emi got impact lo or picnini blo you me. Na plenty old papa mama thing him or how na you me by find out what are the issues which can deviate our children by not growing up right way. So me thing him was growing up should be fun. It's not a stressful event. It's not a uh, something we need to worry about or uh, winch about. It is a fun, and we must understand. Especially we today we will talk about the adolescence. We know that adolescence is a very special and a crucial period in our life. So if you have children who are at the age of 11 to 12 and up to uh, 19 to 20, that is the adolescence group. And I'm sure many parents have a lot of issue in relation to their children's upbringing and their growing up. Let us make our growing up and even the children to uh, understand it is fun because that is a time you know that many of the children think they know everything they think they want to have a lot of friends, all mean him, all same thing him that them grow up penis. So all same this la kind period, you me must understand him that there are hormonal changes are happening on children and the body is changing, sexual uh, developments are happening. So there is so many crucial things are happening in their lifetime too. So most of the time to be fun and to grow up fun, we must have good health. That means good health means you must have good mental health and good physical health so that we can prevent unnecessary uh, communicable diseases and also sexual diseases because that is the time they, the children are very active in their sexual reproductive area. Now there are three issues you me must understand is like mental health issues which are uh, which is a key factor and also a problem during that adolescent time. One, the common things are becoming depressed. You will see becoming depressed is the common thing which happen feeling sad and worried and tense and getting depression. It is common in adolescence because of problems in the family or fights in the family or to in during studies there are problems and also difficulties in relationships and friends relationships and so on so becoming depressed is one of the problem number two mental health problem is uh, abusing drug and alcohol we know that a lot of children uh, they think and they experiment and they wanted to experience new things but it becomes a habit later on so you need to be very careful about it because drinking alcohol and using drugs have direct and indirect effect on brain and body and other organs which can lead you to decrease in your life expectancy see? and also growing up can be fun number three developing schizophrenia what happens? This is a major mental health problem. It is less common, but it happens with the boys. So I want to tell the parents to be very careful and to look for children, especially boys, when they want to keep up themselves and slowly they are not studying well and explaining all kind of behaving problems and abnormal thinking, always ask for help. So becoming depressed, abusing drug and alcohol, schizophrenia are the mental health issues are associated with child adolescence which can deviate growing up fun. So some of the interventions or tips I like to tell even to the children and parents who can 
think in a little way is to for the children especially to think positively because self esteem is very important what is self esteem that means that to have much of to have a good value about yourself. So you sometimes the bodily uh, appearance can bring self low self esteem, you know how the child adolescent behaves. So I want to tell you it's important for us to have positive thinking or think positively and re get your weakness and strength and get some goals and work on it in a smaller way you can establish yourself. So think positively in all areas of your life even studies or growing up or friendship or family matters and get help and bring your good self-esteem you can grow up with fun. Okay, number two, learning to say no. There are habits, especially sexual way or in drug and alcohol. These are the two areas I like to strengthen the kids. If you want to do well in your studies, come up well in and to contribute better and enjoy quality of life, there are times when you grow up to say no to unwanted sex, especially kids, the young girls getting teenage pregnancy and so on and catching up with sexually transmitted diseases because it's sexually active area. So say no to unnecessary sexual activities, learn more in the school and get yourself with a lot of spiritual uh, you know food in you you can make a difference the time will come for everything so say no learn to say no to drug and alcohol and sex number three talking to trusted friends or good relatives who are trustworthy especially parents are good and if you have a problem you can pastors or friend good friends whom you can trust we can talk about your school matters and stress what you're going through what are the things which is bothering you M or Sam talking to the trusted friend is very very important finally planning ahead exam is tomorrow don't wait for today to study plan ahead have a diary work on it with a little timetable when the exam come you don't get stressed out so you can actually grow up with fun and growing up should be fun if you keep up with these few tips and to understand some of the mental health issues if you are not going to treat it it can interfere being me good mental health so well viewers me talk talk low little something M can make him big blood difference these are simple things in life you can avoid unnecessary stress and make your uh, children's life or adolescent life and your studies and school life and everything can make it more successful so today is the day to sit back and think and make a change in your life bring Papa God your life blow you now M can guide him you want him wisdom now word of God Lord will always will be with you so until next segment me like talk all the picnic in Papa Mama must take him time now change him life for you law make a big difference and think growing up should be fun until then take care and bye bye coming up after the break we join rosemary of bsb for the latest bsb product BSP is expanding the largest branch network in the South Pacific with new containerized branches. New ideas, new technology, new service. Where it's needed, we go where the other banks don't. To the most remote regions in PNG and the South Pacific on a mission to bring banking to the people. BSP's containerized branches. BSP, it's how we bank. Good evening viewers and welcome to BSP's segment tonight. Last month we featured another BSP loan package, the Secured Savings Loan product, which is aimed at assisting customers to borrow against their accumulative savings. Tonight we have with us Mary Mildner, Product Manager Liability Products from our product development team, and she will be talking to us about the products for this month. The Kundu Standard Account, Kundu Package Account, Kids Savings Account, and the Sumatin Account. 
Good evening, Mary, and thanks for joining us this evening. Now tell us why all these four accounts this month. Okay, good evening, Rose, and good evening, viewers. The aim is to educate our customers about the different products available and for them to choose the right account that suits their banking needs. We offer accounts for children, for students, for parents and customers who frequently transact on their account, and also for those that do not transact as much on their account. Okay, so you have two Kundu account, the yes. Kundu package account and the Kundu standard account. What's the difference between the two accounts? If you're a customer who does few transactions, live in a rural area, or who does not have a regular income, then the Kundu Standard account is for you. This account is a pay-as-you-go account, so you only pay for transactions that you do. There is no minimum balance requirement and no monthly maintenance fee charged, and it is more affordable. So how about a customer who earns a regular income and does multiple transactions in a month? These customers should use the Kundu Package account. The Kundu Package account caters for customers who use their Kundu card regularly or do a lot of transactions in a month. The account charges one fixed monthly fee and all BSP electronic transactions are free. Both the Kundu Package account and the Kundu Standard account can be opened with a deposit of 10 kina. Okay, now what is the Sumatin account? The Sumatin account is a transaction account specially designed for students who need access to their funds for day-to-day -day needs or to purchase school materials. The account comes with a specially designed Sumatin card and access to mobile banking, while internet banking and Visa debit card can be made available upon the student's request. Now, what makes the Sumatin account different to the two Kundu accounts? We understand that as a student, it is hard to maintain an account. Therefore, with a Sumatin account, it is free of all service charges if you use BSP's ATM and FBOS machines only. The Sumatin account is targeted to students aged between 15 to 25 years. This includes students attending high schools, secondary schools, and universities, and also students studying overseas. The Sumatin account can be opened with a deposit of 5 kina only. Wow, 5 kina to open a Sumatin account. Now, how about the Kids Savers account? The Kids Savings account is an account specially designed for children. This account allows both parents and their children to save for the future. This account is targeted to children that are aged 15 years and younger. The standard features of the Kids Savings Account are as follows. There are no fees applied on this product. Funds are locked in, specially designed kids card, no minimum balance held in the account, no monthly maintenance fee charged on the account, and deposits into the account are free. There is a 48 interest plan and interest is paid monthly into the account. And lastly, you can open the account with a Tukina deposit. So Mary, what is the unique thing about these four accounts? BSP open accounts using tablets. This means that the Kundu accounts, the two Kundu accounts, the kids savings account and the Sumatin account can be opened instantly and remotely. Bank cards are also provided when the accounts are opened. The tablet gives us the flexibility to visit schools to open accounts for students. Similarly, we are able to visit employees of business houses or customers in rural or villages to open the Kundu package account or the Kundu standard account for them. Thank you, Mary. And there you go, viewers. BSP has different accounts to suit all family needs. We now move into our community projects conducted by our branches nationwide. To date, a total of 19 projects have been approved and have commenced work. Part of these 19, seven projects were approved this month in March, and they include the Arawa Branch Project, which includes the renovation of the Arawa Soccer Field and the Grandstand, Biala Branch, construction of a basketball court at the Biala Primary School. In Vanimo, we have the upgrading of a basketball court at Vanimo Primary School. Over in Medang, the branch will be renovating the basketball court and install two volleyball posts at Jomba Primary School. In Wewek, the branch will be refurbishing the youth community hall in Wewek town. In the highlands in Kundiawa, the branch will reconstruct the volleyball and the basketball court at the Kundiawa Lutheran Day High School. Now over in Wabeg, the BSP team will be renovating the Wabeg Town basketball court. Now into 
our other sponsorship activities this month and in sports, the BSP school cricket program has kicked off at the Hohola Demonstration School. This year, the cricket regional managers has an ambitious plan to reach 150,000 children. Last year, 171,500 children participated in 297 schools across Papua New Guinea. The BSP school cricket program is dubbed as the most successful in the Asia-Pacific region. A donation of 5,000 kina was given to support the education program of 20 disadvantaged children currently under the Strongim Pikinini program, an initiative of the PNG Life Training. Another 5,000 was also given to Susumama PNG Inc. to help support the tremendous work they do in improving better health for women and children in the country. Now, on to our Go Green activity for this month. 29th of March, that's this Saturday, is Earth Hour. As part of BSP's Go Green initiative to raise awareness on environmental issues, BSP offices and branches throughout Papua New Guinea, Fiji and Solomon Islands will be switching off non-essential lights from 8.30 p.m to 9.30 p.m. for Earth Hour. Join us on Saturday and switch off your non-essential lights or power for one hour to save the Earth in a little way. Well, viewers, that concludes our segment this evening. Thank you for joining us. See you next month. Until then, good night. BSP is expanding the largest branch network in the South Pacific with new containerized branches. New ideas, new technology, new service. Where it's needed, we go where the other banks don't. To the most remote regions in PNG and the South Pacific on a mission to bring banking to the people. BSP's containerized branches. BSP, it's how we bank. After the break, we join Bill Neal over at Brian Bell, where he explains what makes Brian Bell a cut above the risk. See you in a moment. Hey, hey, Mr. B. Good evening and welcome to another Brian Bell segment on House and Home. I'm your host for the evening, Bill Neal. There are a few certainties, apart from the fact that you buy quality every time you shop at Brian Bell. Loyal viewers, you might remember a segment that I did earlier in the year. In this segment, I explained to you the benefits of shopping with us, the small things that make a big difference. Small things like getting your key cut when you come and buy a key from hardware, or getting your antenna connected to your coaxial cord when you go to Belltronics, getting your furniture or wardrobes assembled. See, these are the small things that some of our competition, some of other retailers, don't do. Tonight, I'm coming to your living room from the tea shed. The tea shed is situated in Broco, just across the road from Plaza. Now, why are we coming to the tea shed? The reason we're here at the tea shed is because there are more examples of how Brian Bell helps you, the customer. In this small warehouse, we provide a few services that you may not know about. This is exactly why I'm doing this segment. You already shop with Brian Bell. You already know that we have a consumer credit scheme but you may not know that we have these services. Some people say that you learn something new every day. Well, if you haven't learned anything yet this Tuesday, it's never too late. Sit down, give me your attention as I inform you about the behind the scenes happening at the T-Shirt to ensure that our Brian Bell customers are happy. This is what typically happens when families come in to buy bicycles for their children. So the kid jumps on the bike. Mommy, I want this one. Now before the parents pull out their wallet and pay, they ask, please could we get a new one? You do this because you want a new bike, not one that's been tried and tested by half of Port Moresby's grade five population. Not a problem. At Brian Bell, we stock spare parts for all of our bicycles and we assemble them too. So you leave with what you paid for, not something in a box with a manual for you to assemble later. Tom and Jerry here are showing us how they assemble their bicycles. Firstly, Tommy takes the product out of the box. He divides the attachments into parts and then he starts assembling these different attachments. Starting off with the frame, then onto the wheels. He does the paddles, seats, lights, steering and finally the mud guards. Once assembled all the parts, he fits it together to give you the finished product. Here is Robin assembling the barbecue. 
He pulls the product out of the box. He starts working on the stands and the legs with attached wheels. Then he completes the foundation. After completing the foundation, he works on the hood and all of the attachments that come with it. Attachments like the stove on your right that you use to cook rice or whatever you like, the grill for the barbecue, and attach all the knobs. He then connects all the hoses in the right spots. After doing this, he inserts a gas cylinder, fires it up and has a quick test to see if it is working as it should be. After this, the product's ready to hit the floor. I like to think I possess some common sense, but sometimes those manuals are just way too hard to understand. But for John and people like him, it's second nature. And voila, there you have it, a BBQ and a cast iron burner from Brian Bell, ready for action this weekend. Singer is a very popular product. My mother had one when I was growing up and your mother probably does too. But did your mothers know that down here at the tea shed, we have spare parts for all of our machines? Did you know that Mata services and repairs these machines? And before these products hit the shelves, Mata and Ricky ensure that these products are exactly what you pay for. These guys are Singer Sewer technicians. So if you have any questions, any problems, if you need any spare parts, find your way down here to the T-Shed and see these guys. The most common issues Mata deals with are issues with stitching, when the tension is not thread properly, or the bobbin case is in an incorrect position. The needle is incorrectly attached, causing the thread to break. Another common issue is timing. When the timing is out, the pattern on your material will be incomplete. It will skip. Another issue that customers don't know about is when your light on your electrical sewing machine goes out, bring it in because we have all the spare parts in stock and can replace this for you. Another unknown issue is when your electric sewing machine works very slowly or not at all, then you need to replace the motor. When they test the sewing machines, they ensure stitches are perfect and oil the machine up before it hits the floor for sale. The one tip that Mata wants to let you know is that a monthly service is important to maintaining and lengthening the life of your machine and to always oil before and after use. Let's not forget that the boys at the T-Shed also do deliveries. Always ask your salesperson if your home is in our delivery zone. 20 Kina saves a headache and your product stays in our care until it gets to you in one piece. I'm using the T-Shed to explain these different services that we provide, but Brian Bell is a nationwide company and you will be able to find these services provided to you at all of our branches. Get familiar with your local Brian Bell Home Center and see how shopping with us can benefit you. That reminds me, we're nationwide from Kokopo to Medang, Ley to Groka to Makange Zappenhagen and Port Moresby. Brian Bell having nationwide prices assists you because you can buy something in Port Moresby and your boo can pick it up in Kokopo. SMK or internet money transfers are great, but you don't know what the money is being used for. You sent the money so they could buy pillows and linen, but instead they bought something else. With us having nationwide prices, you can buy your pots and pans, your fridges, your stoves from Brian Bell here in Port Moresby, and your family can pick it up in Groka. Well, if you didn't know that or any of the other benefits that I mentioned tonight, then now you do. And if that's the case, my job here is done because you've learned something new. But you already knew that. Great products, great prices, best brand Bell. Good night. Best price, best quality, guaranteed at Brian Bell. Right on, right on, Mr. B. Well, what can I say? I've been there and shopped there and the staff are ever so helpful. And it's a great reminder to all that it is important to provide service with a smile. Not only would you feel good about yourself, but it's a good feeling when you end up with a happy customer on your hands rather than a disgruntled one. Being helpful and smiley also makes your customer shopping experience an even more pleasant one. Just a simple reminder. Thanks again, Bill Neal, and we look forward to next week's episode of Brian Bell. More of House and Home in a moment, so stay with us. Welcome back and a big warm welcome if you've just tuned into the show. Most people are in a hurry in the mornings. Reasons range from when your alarm sounds off, your automatic reflexes hit the snooze button and you find yourself sleeping a little bit longer than you intended to. You spend that extra time in getting your children ready for school. Your spouse chooses this time to pick a discussion, so you spend that extra time paying attention to a host of other reasons. 
The one thing that normally happens when your morning is rushed is you run out of the house without eating breakfast. And this is where most people set themselves up for a diet, diet failure for the rest of the day. There are also times where you may have time but you don't know what you should eat as a good healthy breakfast. Well, I'm going to take a few minutes here to just talk about the need to start your days right by having breakfast. For those of you who are aiming to lose weight, you'd be interested to note that there have been quite a number of case studies that have successfully proved that those who ate a large breakfast and smaller meals throughout the day lost more weight than those who ate the same amount of food or calories but ate the larger meals at lunch and dinner instead. Note that your body's metabolism tends to work better in the mornings. Therefore, the big healthy breakfast you eat in the morning, those intake of calories are easier for your bodies to burn. Now, having said that, that doesn't give you or I the excuse to eat a high carb sugary breakfast like donuts, cream buns, sweet coconut buns, etc. Eat a breakfast that's high in protein. The reason being is it'll increase your energy levels and help you feel full for a longer time. You'll find that you won't have an energy crash come mid-morning with a need for a sweet snack or a large cup of sugar-laden coffee. You see, eating protein and fiber, you'll feel satisfied and will give you the energy you need to get your day going and get through your day longer. For many of us, and I'm one of them, we've been going about this the wrong way for many years. We tend to eat all the comforting carbs in the morning and then the hard to digest proteins at lunch and in the evenings. With a bit of applied knowledge and understanding, the opposite has proven to be much better, especially for those that have set a weight loss goal for themselves. So stock your refrigerator or cupboards with some high protein and fiber breakfast items. These include eggs, lean meats, peanut butter, yogurt, oats and avocados. I saw some fresh avocados in stock at the supermarkets over the weekend. Oatmeal is a good high fiber breakfast choice and if you need to add something sweet to it, the only sugar you need is fresh fruits or some honey. Multigrain waffle is also a good substitute to have for breakfast. Don't be afraid to think creative with your breakfast choices. Also, try not to limit yourself to the typical breakfast foods. Bear in mind that the traditional breakfasts of today are not all healthy. Do a bit of research and create healthier versions of your favorite breakfast choices. My ideal breakfast on any given day would consist of two scrambled eggs, slice up avocados on multigrain toast. It's quick and easy to make, leaving me with just enough time to enjoy that before I head off. To wash it all down, I enjoy a cup of green tea to go with it. But as an alternative, if anyone wants to try this, you can substitute your green tea for hot water with a slice of lemon or freshly squeezed juice of your choice. As mentioned earlier regarding being in a rush and skipping breakfast, make the extra effort to get up a little earlier and make yourself breakfast and sit down and enjoy eating it. However, if you do need to rush out the door in the mornings, especially if you live a long distance away, then at least make the effort to have that extra time to make and take your breakfast with you to have at your office in well enough time before you start your day on the job. You'll notice an improvement in your stamina, an improvement in your weight and overall outlook. And not only that, but eating foods that are rich in vitamins and antioxidants does wonders for your skin and your hair. Skincare products, moisturizers, etc. only does part of the job in helping your skin look good and in protecting it. But most of how good your skin looks all depends on what you eat. Same applies with your hair. To top it all off, don't forget to exercise. We'll be back with more in House and Home in a moment. Next week, Chef Gary gets into the kitchen and whips up some basic Zenag egg crepe and lime. Norman of Pims joins us to talk more on education. Origin Gas Talk continue on with the 8 block safety with gas campaign. Our best of mom Miriam does up a salad with best of mackerel on the cooking with best of segment. And it's more great quality buys to share over at Brian Bell. On our journey to gain a healthier lifestyle and knowledge about what we should eat more of and what we should eat a whole lot less of, here are some of the foods we should include in our diet as often as we can. Now these particular foods are also highly recommended by nutritionists to people who are in a high stress jobs, who have heart problems or basically need to care more for themselves a whole lot more. Garlic is the first on my list. Garlic is a vegetable which is part of the onion family of vegetables. It's very good for the heart and is one flavoured vegetable that is commonly used in all our cooking. Grapes is my next favourite, a very popular fruit with its many uses. The best thing about grapes, especially the dark grapes, is that it lowers the risk of developing blood clots, the ones that usually lead to heart attacks. 
Spinach, a rich green leafy vegetable that's also good for you, acts as a defense against high blood pressure. It also protects your arteries from buildup of cholesterol. Fish, now a few weeks ago I talked on the goodness of fish. The omega-3 oils that are found in fish stops the buildup of fatty deposits in the arteries. Olive oil, the healthiest of all oils and also very good for those heart related issues. Tomatoes, lycopene in tomatoes which is the stuff that gives its color prevents the hardening of arteries. And my last favorite thing to eat to keep a healthy heart is oats. The fiber in oats doesn't allow cholesterol to stick onto your artery walls. It actually carries it right out of your system. I can think of maybe another three more of my favorite foods that is good for keeping a healthy heart but unfortunately are not available locally. You can do your own research on your list of favorite foods and learn a thing or two on the goodness it provides for your bodies and then you can decide on whether you should eat more of or less of. Well this brings us to the end of the show, this is where I leave you. Don't just think healthy, you need to live healthy. Until next week, from the House and Home crew and myself, it's good night.